Hey guys, welcome back to Crypto Clan. Today we'll be talking about spectacular news of the IMF directly leveraging Quant. The closed source fintech company Quant Network has seen its technological innovations being directly leveraged for a number of use cases. Most notably, the project has been developed in view of being directly incorporated into CBDCs. According to the IMF, 110 countries around the world are at some stage of development surrounding CBDCs. With the number of nations involved in CBDC developments, it is looking increasingly likely that the implementation of CBDCs into the monetary system will become a reality within the decade. Developments and the utility of CBDCs into the monetary system will aid in overcoming a number of limitations in payment infrastructure, namely cross-border payments. CBDCs will provide the potential to enable settlement procedures to be conducted in a more seamless manner with less disruption. Rapid and efficient settlement procedures between future CBDCs will see a decline in the need for KYC, as personalised CBDC wallets will be innately linked to an individual's identity. Thus, cross-border payment methods will be conducted more rapidly and efficiently. Furthermore, with the high likelihood of stablecoins being incorporated into cross-fiat CBDC transactions, the use of stablecoins will lead to lower transaction costs. The decline in transaction costs in this manner will be apparent, namely due to funds being passed through less financial bodies. This factor will lead to less expenses being exposed to payers and payees. Thus, deposits recipients receive will be more substantial. With current instabilities and uncertainties surrounding the pandemic, and the risk of further lockdowns, government bodies will be able to direct furlough payments or UBI payments to individuals directly to an individual's personal CBDC wallet. This factor will remove the middleman in private banks. As a result, payments individuals receive will be more rapid and less transaction costs will be incurred. Despite benefits surrounding the direct implementation of CBDCs, there are also a number of limitations associated with the utility of CBDCs when they are released to the open market. Individual national CBDC platforms are likely to be built on varying networks and technologies, be it legacy or DLT. Differences in the networks such CBDCs will be built on will in turn lead to increases in the need for an overarching platform to provide interoperability, be it through a stablecoin or a platform which provides connectivity between networks. One technological cryptographic innovation provided by Quant which can act as a means of overcoming interoperability limitations, is Quant's multi-ledger token or MLT stablecoin. The MLT stablecoin can be seamlessly leveraged by different parties in a number of payment services, most notably cross-border payment services, supply chain tracking, trading and investing between consortium blockchain systems and loyalty point voucher systems and other forms of e-money. These use cases are coupled with the MLT stablecoin being primarily developed as a means of enabling cross-fiat CBDC transactions. This use case has led to the banking institution, the International Monetary Fund or IMF, directly leveraging MLT technology for use with CBDCs that are sent to and from and operate on many distinct blockchain and legacy based platforms. Multi-ledger tokens have the potential to be utilised for numerous blockchain and financial uses, which will continue to expand as the utility of the technology grows and new business models emerge. The mentioned passage was sourced from the Gemini website. I will link the article in the description below. The IMF's direct leveraging of Quant's MLT technological innovation will aid in providing transparency in payments whereby MLTs used as the underbelly stablecoin in fiat CBDC transactions will provide an auditable record of the stakeholders involved in transactions. The IMS direct utility of MLT in view of CBDC developments could be huge for Quant and may be indicative of Quant's innovations namely its MLT stablecoin and overledger being directly incorporated into CBDC developments across the world. The utility of MLT stablecoins in CBDC payment infrastructure will potentially lead to the development of a Universal Payment Channel or UPC, which is a concept coined by the payment processor giant Visa. UPC will enable the connectivity of different blockchain networks by establishing dedicated payment channels between them. These payment channels will provide the potential to connect CBDC networks synonymous with nation states by leveraging the MLT stablecoin. This will enable central banks and or governments in different nations to be able to interact and determine the stakeholders involved in transactions when CBDC activity has occurred. With Quant's MLT stablecoin set to be used by the IMF for CBDC initiatives, the IMF will have to pay a given fee to have access to the stablecoin. The degree by which banks such as the IMF will have to pay for usage of Quant's technology, including MLT, was put forward by Quant's CEO Gilbert Ferdian. He asks, does this mean a central bank that will use the overledger will pay in Q&T? Is it a joke? 
that's a, that's a good question. Um, so uh, thank you for the question, uh, Alexei. Uh, so what we're doing is providing the the rails, the the network infrastructure to be mm -hmm. able to transact. Uh, if if the application running on the Overledger network is a CBDC, then it, it has the same rules as as the network. You know, you have to pay the transaction fees in QNT, the license fees to be able to do that. Uh, it re really depends if they use it. So um, I would love to see central banks using the Overledger network. It'll be a, a great testament to the technology, and and uh, you know, there's a lot of interest uh, in this space. Mm -hmm. um, and what we'd love to bring is, you know interoperable payments around the world uh, onto the Overledger network so you can transact cross borders without having the limitations of the existing system. So if that's the case, we, yeah, we'd, we'd love to have that on there. With the IMF set to leverage Quant's innovations, namely MLT, the financial body may have to pay hefty fees in QNT to utilize the technology. This factor may lead to increases in the demand for QNT, and as a result, synonymous increases in price of the token may be observed, especially over the long run. What are your thoughts on Quant? Is the IMS usage of Quant's MLT token bullish for Quant? Let us know your views in the comments below. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click on the notification bell. Let us know your views in the comments below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.